Hello everyone, my name is Sick and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program, episode 9. So, it seems that we are not producing a full stream of titanium ingots right now, so that is something we might want to fix before we leave here again with our pockets full of goodies. So, clearly, yeah, we could take extra or onto this belt, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go up here and I guess well we could actually insert it over here because this is kind of where the bottleneck ends and if we put it over here we still not, not, might not be able to reach the back there. So if we just do it like that I think that's going to be perfectly fine. Uh, research is still going but quite slow. Now the one thing that is a little bit sad is that we cannot have a quick look at our other planets. It would be nice if we had some kind of system that would show us where exactly all of our... Well, we can see where all of our planets are, but we cannot quickly move to another planet that we have stuff on and have a look at all of the stuff there. Which is a little bit unfortunate, but, you know, manageable. It's not a big problem, really. I think we are actually doing quite well with uh, wind turbines here to have pretty much permanent power to run all the things that we need to run over here. Now I'm going to, let's say, make 10 more. Place us, place us all over the place. Meanwhile, I am going to let this accumulate for a little bit. And then once we have pockets full of goodies, we might want to go back to our original planet with all of that stuff. and then start doing the last of the research until we can get to interstellar uh, stuff which we will also need now here again this is running full speed um, we could use the extra stuff that we are producing so we're going to build another little belt over here make sure that this is completely saturated and this is producing at a full capacity I don't remember what this actually requires in terms of research. The magnetic particle trap, 1600 of the blue ones. And I think the production of that was that becoming a little bit lackluster, which is why this is taking so long right now. So that is something to keep in mind. Look at that. This should completely saturate the belt all the way to the back pretty soon. Though they do get loaded quite quickly. As you can see, this actually does get blocked up a little bit, so it's not actually a guarantee. But this is producing at full speed, so I don't think this is a problem. We could actually have a few more smelters on the back there. I don't know if we can make any more. No, we need circuit boards, which... Well, we could automate the process here because we do have access to iron, we do have access to, to copper. We could build this whole factory that we've built on the other planets and we could build it here as well. But I'm not really in the mood for that. I'm not going to do that right now. I just want to continue along with the research. So what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to build some storage. Last two storage boxes that I can make. And I am going to put them, let's say, roughly here in the center. Put that one on the top. And I'm going to put in here all the stuff that I want to keep here. That I, well, we're going to keep the electric magnetic rails. We're going to, we can get rid of the titanium ore just by putting it in a smelter. There we go. That fixes that problem. We could leave belts over here because we will need them at some point. We can, we will keep the energetic graphite, so we'll make space for that. We can keep this. We might want to keep all the steel, which we haven't used. We will keep iron ingots. Oh, basically, a lot of stuff that, yeah, we are not going to use on the other planet. I just want to have as much storage space as possible. So we actually let's just drop all of this stuff until we have we're going to keep that one uh, put glass here stone ore here this is something that we're going to keep and uh, still we have some more uh, iron ore or titanium ore i guess drop that in there and then the water we don't really need 
once I drop that, then I'm going to finish uh, building our electri electrical system here. Too close to another wind turbine, really. Alright, fine. Whatever. Build one over here. So we're just going to follow the edges in the areas where it's hard to find building space. Last couple of these. Need some foundation support, so we can build that one here. Alright, so now we should have ensured that we have plenty of power. It's time to fill our pockets with all of the stuff that we have produced so far. And that's actually quite a lot, let's see, because I think this is the higher priority, but this There we go, that's what I wanted to do. Alright, so we'll just grab this as well, I guess. And we have 98 of this. Oh, that is a nice little haul of titanium. Look at that. I'm going to fill that up and then I'm going to fly back home. This is going to accumulate. And at some point we might return for some more, but I think this will actually do us right quite well. All right, so where do we have to go again? We have a planet, and actually we can have a look at the star map. We have landed at Subra 1. We have Subra, which is the sun, and then we have Subra 2. Now I'm kind of curious which way, or which, yeah, I think we're rotating in this direction, and these guys are rotating in that direction. So actually, there's no point in waiting. We might as well just fly over. Oh, there we see it. That's where we need to go. All right. Let's have a look. Off we fly again. That is Subra 4. That is not the one we want, I think. Where do we got? Subra 3, Subra 2. Yeah, that's the one we originally tried to land on. And Subra 3, I think, is our original planet. So... Yeah, this is going to take a little while again, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, we're getting pretty close and our research is almost done. Now, in this time, I've walked downstairs, I got myself a drink, had a short little chat with my girlfriend, and then I stared at the game for about another minute. And we still have a couple of minutes to go. It is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Anyway, we have unlocked the particle container, which can fix the particles in certain positions and guide them to show some characteristics. Interesting. All right, so now, actually, I would like to press the research button, but I don't remember what I... Uh, T. All right, so we can do that, actually. Let's have a look. We might want to improve the speed of our mecha. We could do mechanical frame, gives us some extra movement speed. I don't know if there's something that gives us faster flying speed. I'm assuming, oh yeah, there we go. For that we need yellow signs. So let's do this one first. Let's make ourselves a little bit faster. And then I will see you guys in about another couple of minutes here. All right, we're almost home free here. So it's time to come in for the landing. A couple more hundred meters and then, well, we still need to have a look at where exactly our factory is located, because I have a feeling we landed on the wrong side of the planet. Doesn't really matter. And I guess we could even go up into orbit, go a little bit faster. Oh, there we go. So we found our stone manufactory. Good. All right, so now we have water over here. Ah, right, so this is where we were producing the aluminum stuff. Well, not aluminum, actually, what is this? What are we making? This is sulfuric acid. This is making the graphene, and it seems that we are completely filled up on graphene, so this is no longer producing. And this is where we were making aluminum, and this is where we were making the organic crystals. Right, we have some things to do. Let us have a quick little look. It seems to me that 
Yeah, red science is the problem and not blue. Interesting. First of all, though, let's get rid of that. And the problem here is hydrogen. So definitely we need to expand our production of oil. Now, at this point, you might actually have a different process for that already. Uh, nope, doesn't seem like it. That's another thing we can research. Anyway, it, this will slowly continue building up. We need to have a place where we want to land our interplanetary stuff. And then we are going to have to build some, uh, some storage boxes there. And that is where I want to deposit these materials. And from there I will route them to where I want them. Right, so let's have a quick little look. What have we got over here? Rotor production. Right. I, I needed some iron plates for sure. Which are over here. Anyway, I'll just grab some resources so I can build some materials that we need. And I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, well I think we might want to... Ooh, that's just in time as well. Got some extra movement speed. Anyway, I think we might want to build our landing zone in this area, roughly. So I'm going to be building some uh, storage chests over here. Let us say two spaces apart. We'll stack them up too high. There we go. All right, that's not what we wanted. That is what we wanted. All right, so now if we fill this one up with the silicone, we can fill this one up with the crystals, which we are also going to need. We will fill this one up with the titanium ingots, of which we have quite a lot now. That is really nice. All right, and then this one we will keep empty for some other materials. I don't quite know yet what I want to do there, but I guess we'll find out. Now, over here we were making stuff with silicone but obviously not quite a lot it's going very very slowly and we were making the assembly machines here we can actually route this onto here from the storage box except i don't have yeah i don't have the transport belts that's a little bit unfortunate but that is true i had my whole inventory full of stuff i wanted to grab more stuff but i simply couldn't because it was full and I needed to leave one spot open for the storage boxes, which is unfortunate. But now that we have more space, let us make use of it. We will also grab a couple of these. Now also I think we really need to get like a storage of these magnetic coils over here. For sure, actually we do need a lot of that because we keep having to manually build them, which is something I really don't like. Anyway, for now, this should solve our little problem over here. Well, it's not really a problem yet, but we are going to need this pretty soon. Alright, let's start outputting this over here. And then it needs to go. I guess it can go onto there. That is fine. And actually we can also add these onto the belts. We'll keep a little bit of local production. Because why not? Oh, we also need the engine blocks. Now we need to make those by hand. Oh well, doesn't really matter. We'll just put this here. Of course, this is going to need power, which I also left behind on the other station. Let's get rid of that one, let's get rid of that one. We'll just make a couple of these. Of course, these are all going to need power. So we will put one here, we will put one there. Ah, they just barely not connect. We need another Tesla tower. 
There we go. As for research, uh, we could do a couple of other things. We do, could do energy circuits. We would need to get some other things. We could do drone flight speed, which is kind of nice. But I think actually what we want to do here is do something oil related. I'm not sure which one that is yet. I think it is... No, it's not that one. We have energy storage, which is also an important one for energy accumulating. We can make processors, which is something we need to research. And actually, we have a lot of that. So we can let the red uh, production keep or catch up a little bit. Somewhere over here, I think, ah, the x-ray cracking. Let's do that one afterwards, because that one can, might actually help us with producing more... Uh, more stuff, more of the, what's the word I'm looking for? It's in components. Hydrogen, I don't see it here. Actually, it's not in components, <laughs> but hydrogen. We need more hydrogen and we can actually fix that pretty easily. Now, I think we can also add this onto here because we don't need a permanent storage like I thought we might need. So we'll just keep doing it like this. And what is next on the research list? Like we need to make structure matrices, which means we need to make diamonds and we need to make titanium crystals. Now we were working on that actually, and we needed the titanium ingots to make that happen. So organic crystal, we are making that already. Right, so where are we making it opposite or compared to here? Here we are making that stuff. Here is our sign. So if we route the titanium ingots from here into this direction and the organic crystals from here also down to this direction, then here we can make yellow science production. That is what we are going to do next. All right, so that is going to take up a little bit of time. So I will start doing that and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, well, the processor is finished. And actually, I switched research into having another drone because doing this whole distance, I've realized, is taking an extraordinarily long amount of time. And yeah, just having that one extra drone already will help speed things up quite a bit, I think. I might also get uh, drone speed after this. Just so we can focus on the yellow science for a bit before I continue working on the oil production because the oil production is a problem. And yeah, well, we have multiple problems or multiple needs and wants, I guess, is more appropriate. Anyway, we also need to make some matrixes, matrix lamps and I will make, let's say, six of those to start with. We'll see how we do. We are, of course, also still need to make uh, diamonds, which are pretty easy to make. We can just use energetic graphite for that. Should not be any problem whatsoever. Anyway, let us have a look at how we will do this exactly. So maybe if we start building here, we will leave one bit of space right there. And this is where we start to diverge a little bit. Which is where the curve of the planet, planet comes in. <laughs> I just cannot line this up perfectly. It's not, it's not possible. A little bit unfortunate, but oh well. What can you do? Right, we'll place that one here, we'll place that one there, we'll place that one here. And then we should have power everywhere. Now you will be making these structure matrixes, actually they will be doing that, except they don't require these materials yet. Um, we need to turn these materials into something else first. Now I guess we can do that on this side, so if we run this titanium along here still, that's going to be fine. So we do this here and then we pull that over in this direction and then we go here and then that goes there. 
All right, construction drones are finished. Now I could continue with the oil or I could simply try and get drone engine two. So they will go a little bit faster. I think that's what we're going to do here. And then we will continue on with the oil. But first, let's see if we can set up the yellow science production. All right, so what do we need? We needed to make titanium crystals. So we need three titanium, one of those uh, green crystals, and it is made in an assembler. That is good to know. So we can make assembly machines here. Let's make about four of them and see how we do there. And of course we need to, well, maybe we can pull it off of this belt and then start making diamonds from that, because this seems to be doing pretty well. But that is, of course, also because this isn't producing at full strength at the moment. So, I'm not sure yet. I guess we'll find out. Anyway, we, we will place one here. We are still making the other ones. Make one here, and then finally... Once it is done, we will make one off to the side right there. And then we need to pull this out a little bit more that one a little bit more and then we will of course need power and we are going to need a couple more of these there we go into the center one off to the side into the center or one off to the side now we need more of this so we could actually build a couple more of these uh, let's see titanium crystal first of all we could add a couple more inserters over here just to make the whole process a little bit faster um, our core energy is depleting again so actually i'm going to go for a quick run to get some power and also i want to get some more of these poles which we are producing somewhere so i'll just quickly do that and i'll see you guys in a second all right, with that taken care of, we can continue our little quest. And I think what we're going to do here is we're going to put an output over here. And we're going to go sideways and from here we'll go up. And then we need to place that off to the side just a little bit, unfortunately. There we go. This is going to go down sideways a little bit and let's see if we can reach all the way to the end well maybe actually we should just keep a distance of one actually that might be have to we might have to put that one a little bit further away there we go and of course we are going to need the assembly line so we'll make a couple of those and then we'll hook that up now as for diamonds we need to have energetic graphite and then the diamonds get made in a smelting facility. So we also need to make some smelters. Two for now. And you know, actually we can go over here to the science area and grab some more. We need these magnetic coil thingies. We have an abundance of them. Definitely we need to speed up our science as well. Um, because this is going at max speed, we can increase the production here. I guess we need to fill this in with foundation, which we haven't researched yet. Because I didn't think it was going to be that much of a priority, but of course it's going to be incredibly useful. Especially for little puddles like that, we can increase our uh, production quite a bit. To the center you go. Alright, drone engine level 2 is done. That is good stuff. Right, he's going to go over there. Now then, we will finally continue with our oil, the x-ray cracking. So let's go ahead and do that. And then over here, we might want to put a splitter actually. Of course, we'll have to make a little bit of space. And we'll 
put the splitter off to the side just a little bit because we have to otherwise I have to destroy two belts and I, I just don't feel the need to even though it's probably going to trigger some people looking at that and they're going to be kind of uh, going crazy over the fact that it's not like symmetrical or whatever but it looks horrible which to be fair it does it doesn't look great <laughs> but oh well all right we needed smelters we can actually make two more or a bunch more actually that's not really the problem but let's do two more for a total of four we'll drag this over in this direction and i guess what we'll do here is we'll put some smelters over on this side now look at that we have one more drone extra they're flying a little bit faster so the whole process of building these transport belts is a little bit less tiresome it's a little bit more quick which is something that is nice about factorio in a way of course because factorio is super quick because you yourself are placing them down unless you're using robots to do it which is perfectly fine and very well recommended of course but then you can go about as fast as you can walk and there's a bunch of things you can do to make yourself walk faster so yeah anyway what is this other thing uh, find kimberlite ore and smell directly to obtain diamonds all right interesting we don't really need it but uh We'll keep it in mind for the future. We haven't found any Kimberlite ore though, so no need to get too excited about it. All right, power supply. Of course, this is easily scalable, so we'll keep that in mind. Connect this up. We can get rid of this last little section. And now my power is running low once again. So every once in a while when I run low on power and I have a dead end corner where I know I'm not going to build anything. I'm going to place one of these wireless power towers so that everywhere I go I have a place to connect. Because that is still a bit of a nuisance. Alright, so what do we do here? We can go on the inside of this track actually. Yeah, pretty much works, but if you go one more, uh, that doesn't work. See, this is the problem. <laughs> also, let me just grab a couple stacks of energetic graphite and put it in my personal core so that we have some extra power going forwards. Yeah, so this is where the planet uh, screws us over a little bit. Look at that. <laughs> So what we are going to do is we are going to put this one stack over here like that and that should still work out quite well. Now put that down. Of course we are going to need a bunch of inserters. There we go. And that one doesn't work. Which is super unfortunate because that one works, and that one works, and that one works. Alright, so you have materials, diamonds are coming. It's just this one little thing that is the problem, and that sucks. So we go over here. Do it like that, get rid of that little section, and then from here we should be able to do it. There we go. Problem solved. Now, yellow science is being made. It seems we need a bunch more of the green materials to make. Look at that, yeah. I don't know what the bottleneck there is, but we are going to check that out in just a second. There's so many things to do and I want to keep going, but I'm also getting very aware of the feature creep or feature creep, but like the, the, the scope of the video is just kind of ballooning at this point again. Which is a sign of a good game, don't get me wrong, but... Man. <laughs> it's not good for viewing, I guess. 
All right, so all the science is on this side, but again, this is probably not something that we can drag all the way to the end on one side. Nope, we cannot. Now, I guess this means we need to put a splitter in here because one side is going to have to go along this side. One side can be over here, which is a little bit unfortunate, but we need to mine out that uh, bit of uh, iron ore at some points, I guess, to fix that particular problem. But well, for now, it's going to be fine. We're going to drag this out as far as we can, which is right about there. And this is going to go over in this direction. And then it's going to go over here. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six of these things, which means we need a couple more of these inserters. We'll make a couple more just for good measure. All right, we'll put that in here. That one's going to go in there, in here, in here. That's going to go over there. Let's stand here in the middle for just a second. We'll have an input over here. Input over here. I hope this fits. Doesn't fit. But we have an inserter on this side, so that is fine then, I guess. Which means we can get rid of... Oh, we need to get under there. There we go. Nice. That works. Now, this still hasn't made anything yet. Uh, we have the structure matrixes, but we don't have the outputs. Yeah, so that's a good thing that we were making these extra. Too far. Come on. <laughs> so I guess we're going sideways here a little bit and then onto here. Now we have a bunch of these structure matrixes in our inventory, but we can get rid of them really quick. Of course, we can get rid of this little section. There we go. Now it fits. And now it fits well. Right, final official action of this video is checking the green materials. I think it's simply... It's lacking materials. It's lacking refined oil. Because we are using refined oil on a bunch of things. Right, we are using it to generate power. We are using it in... Yeah, so everything goes directly to power. I'll just stop that right now. We don't need it, I think. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at the effects of that. Of course, on the next episode, we are going to have to expand our production of oil. But that is for another video so please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this content and wish to see more and i'll see you guys for whatever video i do next